Texas Governor Greg Abbott again today praised the federal response to Harvey, saying he'd spoken on multiple occasions to President Trump and members of his cabinet. But as Nancy Cordes reports, several big political fights are looming over the cost of recovery and building. Federal resources have already begun flooding into Texas. Two million liters of water, two million meals, tens of thousands of tarps, all at the direction of FEMA director Brock Long. This shelter mission is going to be a very heavy lift. Early estimates for recovery and rebuilding are at $40 billion and climbing. But FEMA's coffers have dwindled to $3.8 billion. And earlier this year, the Trump administration proposed slashing FEMA's budget by another 11 percent. You're going to get your funding. It's a terrible tragedy. President Trump made no mention of those cuts today. We're dealing with Congress. Uh, as you know, it's going to be a very expensive situation. We want to take care of the people of Texas and Louisiana. But Congress will be facing several other urgent deadlines when it returns next week. The nation's borrowing limit must be raised and the government funded by the end of September. President well Trump has threatened a shutdown if he doesn't get funding for a border you. wall. I hope that's not necessary. Uh, if it's necessary, we'll have to see. And now some northern Republicans are calling out Texas Senators John Cornyn and Ted Cruz, who are pushing for more aid, even though they opposed a $50 billion relief bill after Hurricane Sandy. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. The, uh, the congressional members in Texas are hypocrites. Um, and I said back in 2012, they'd, prove, they'd be proven to be hypocrites. Cruz defended that vote from Houston. I didn't think it was appropriate to engage in pork barrel spending where two thirds of that bill was unrelated spending that had nothing to do with Sandy and was simply politicians wasting money. FEMA is encouraging flood victims to begin filing their insurance claims, but that's yet another fiscal flashpoint. The National Flood Insurance Program is currently running a $25 billion deficit, and it's set to expire altogether in a month, Nora, if Congress doesn't act.